first quest update is here for 2023. What does it include? Let's talk about V49 today. First up, somehow I missed last month there was actually a new home environment called the Polar Village. It would have been absolutely perfect for Christmas time, and though it is winter now, so it does technically work. It's actually snowing and storming outside right now as I talk about this, but somehow I totally missed it. So I'm excited to check it out, but part of V49 is actually a brand new home environment and some changes to current home environments. There is a brand new abstract environment called Abstraction that is coming in V49 that says it's an explosion of color and amorphous blobs. It's the perfect escape when you need a place to focus, which I'm not 100% sure about that, but it does look like a very interesting home environment. I don't have access to it yet, so I have not taken a look at it, but it, it looks unique to say the least. And according to the blog post, this is just the first of several new home environments coming this year. It says we'll be adding additional environments throughout 2023. And on top of that, they're actually upgrading some of the current home environments, including Desert Terrace, Space Station, and Winter Lodge. What they're doing is actually adding in additional hotspots inside of these environments so that you can move to more areas and farther inside of these areas to actually explore, if you will. Plus, on top of that, they're actually making the chairs and couches sittable. And I say that in quotation marks. You can hover on them, I imagine, and it locks to the chair at the right height so when someone comes into your home environment you can actually sit down virtually now don't try sitting down physically unless you have an actual chair there because i've done that before and it's not fun but this will make it a little more realistic as people come into your home environment as you hang out one quick reminder if you didn't see my previous video quest one users will not be able to invite people over to their home environment this year at some point they're going to disable that so it'll be quest two users that'll be able to actually take advantage of this sitting for social they also said there's a small quality of life fix. You can now move around your home and rotate which way your avatar is facing at your destination, even with the UI active. Previously, the UI would prevent you from rotating. So if you have the menu system open, you were not able to rotate previously. That has been fixed now, which is just a small thing. They've also added in a do not disturb mode. This is supposed to be like on your phone when you turn on do not disturb. Once it's activated, it silences any non-critical notifications only while you're in immersive games and apps. When it's on, it actually only doesn't have pop-ups and notifications while you're playing a game, which is actually kind of cool. So there is a do not disturb other setting that actually does do not disturb everywhere, whether you're in a menu system or whatever. But that is a problem because if you're in a multiplayer game and you're waiting for a party invite or in your menu system and you forget to turn it off, it won't tell you that you have a notification. So this seems to be a new do not disturb mode that just turns off off non-critical notifications while you're in an immersive game or application. So I'm assuming that means a single player experience or something like that. It says you can find the new mode under the notifications panel in the settings menu in the do not disturb section. There's also a family center being added, which sounds kind of like one of those places you would have a long time ago, like the DC Discovery Zone. Do you remember the DC Discovery Zone? I remember seeing commercials for that and always wanted to go to one, but this is not that kind of family center. This says, we continue to build new tools and resources and adjust existing ones to help parents and guardians support their teens across Meta's technologies. With V49, we're making it easier to set up and manage our parental supervision tools across the MetaQuest platform. While these settings can still be accessed from the MetaQuest mobile app, now you can also access these settings, tools, and educational resources on the web from Family Center, which is an actual website. It's familycenter.meta.com. It says there you can find answers to your common questions, discover what parental supervision tools are available, or simply make changes to existing parental supervision settings. Limit what games and apps your teens can access, know what they're purchasing, and see how much time they're spending in VR and more directly from your web browser. So it's a great tool for parents that want to keep an eye on how their teens, they say, although there's probably a lot of kids actually using it as well. It also says we're also expanding how parental supervision can be set up. When we launched our tools last summer, teens needed to send parents an invite to set up supervision. With V49, we're now making it easier for parents to invite their teens to set up supervision. More information about the supervision tools available with MetaQuest and step-by-step -step instructions on setting up supervision can be found at the Family Center website. That's V49. That's not all the update notes. There's usually some of the smaller things that are in there as well. 
This is just the blog post. But there are actually another few different things I wanted to mention in Quest news. First thing is that Quest Hand Tracking 2.1 is now out or is rolling out or whatever. It reduces tracking loss and improves stability even more than it did previously. 2.0 was a massive jump and now 2.1 is just adding even more. It's just making that even better. Windlands 2 was just barely announced actually minutes ago before I uploaded this video. It's coming to the Quest 2 in February. That's right, Windlands 2, the grappling bow fighting game looks fantastic on the footage you're seeing right here it's actually quest 2 footage it's got a single player campaign or you can play co-op with four players the locomotion is really well done and really cool in this game and i gotta tell you it looks like an absolute blast to play in multiplayer so i'm very very much looking forward to checking this out when it launches next month several new games actually came out this past week but because i was so busy i did not have a chance to put any of the videos on the channel sadly pathcraft came out it's a puzzler type of vr game that reminds me kind of something like lemmings or something along those lines it looks very cute and interesting haven't had a chance to play that yet colossal cave another one that i haven't had a chance to play as well i'm really looking forward to the classic game brought into virtual reality and also primal hunt i have played that one that was a lot of fun and i want to work on a video in the future i'll probably wait until the multiplayer update comes out because yes it is getting multiplayer not sure when the update is out exactly yet but from what i played it was a pretty cool dinosaur hunting experience if you've played any of those games, though, let me know down in the comments what you think, so I know if it's worth actually taking the time to check out. Did you know that Gorilla Tag made $26 million in revenue when it was on App Lab? That is insane, considering it's a free-to-play game that is all in-app purchases, $26 million in revenue. That blows my mind, and that's just when it was on App Lab. Now it's on the official store, it's probably making even more. <laughs> They've really hit a killing for that game, and it's just insane what it's doing for players i think it was like 700,000 players on christmas day in that game which is absolutely mind-blowing i think that's pretty much it for news and updates for the quest platform i've been very busy on some crazy new upcoming stuff brand new videos i'm very excited to share that i think will completely blow your mind or at least be extremely entertaining to watch oh and one quick thing i want to mention i am throwing the biggest virtual reality party in history in October to celebrate my birthday and 1 million subscribers if we can hit to that point. Now that seems crazy being only at 235,000 subscribers, but we've got nine months nearly to get there and I need your help. See, I'm giving out around $10,000 in prizes if we can hit 1 million subscribers by my birthday in October. And I'll be throwing the largest party in the history of VR where everyone is invited and I'll be giving away everything from PS5s to VR headsets and other bigger stuff to multiple people during the live event. I'm super excited to be able to support the community, give back to it, and hopefully hit that million subscriber mark this year. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around because there's some massive videos coming out and I think it's gonna be a real ride. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content and make sure you stay safe and happy questing.